Alright, so let me show you how to install XBMC on a jailbroken iPad or iPhone. And you can also do this on an Apple TV second generation if you want. I have a video on my page you can find. Um, I'll assume you've already jailbroken your device. It's easy enough to find out how to do that if you haven't already. Just Google jailbreak whatever device in the iOS version. Um, so first we're gonna start up Cydia and go to sources and on the iPhone you'd go to manage and then click sources then click edit then add then the repository for XBMC is mirrors dot xbmc dot org slash apt slash i OS and we'll add source. Let that do its thing. Return to Cydia. Click done and go into the new repository. Click XBMC iOS and we're gonna install that. And now it's gonna take a few minutes to download and install. And in the meantime, we'll go over to our computer. Now over here, what we need to do is download the Blue Cop repository, which you can find at this address, which I'll post below. Um, so you want to download this repository.bluecop.xbmc-plugins.zip and you do not want it to unzip the file automatically. Um, in Safari on the Mac, you'd force it not to unzip by holding down Option while you uh, click it. And um, I found that the easiest way to get the repository onto your iDevice is through network file sharing. Um, if you, I'll assume you know how to set that up on your computer. And on the Mac, I've found that the easiest, most successful place to get this from is if you put it into your public folder. So that's under your username folder, um, public and so now we'll go back to our iPad. Now XBMC has finished installing so I've quit out of Cydia and I'm gonna go to XBMC here and once this starts up I'll go to settings add-ons and now at this point one thing that you may want to do um, as it will make um, some of the process a little faster is to go to this gear icon in the upper right corner and turn off auto update. You may need to quit XBMC and come back in for that to take effect. Um, but then in the settings add-ons you go to install zip install from zip file and go to this zero conf browser that will list all the network file shares available. For my case I'm gonna go to iMac AFP and into my public folder and install the repository.bluecop.xbmc-plugins.zip um, Now you should see Bluecop add-on enabled in the corner and you'll go to get add-ons 
and you may or may not need to do this on some devices. I needed to hold down on blue cup add on repository and then do force refresh. Um, if that was necessary, you may need to wait a few seconds for it to refresh. Then go into the repository video add-ons and then you can install Hulu install and after about a minute you should see Hulu add-on enabled in the lower right corner and a check mark to the right of um, Hulu um, I'm also gonna install this one that says free cable that um, allows me to watch CBS.com shows and other uh, TV broadcasts. Um, now if you set up an account on the Hulu website you can access it in here. Go to Hulu configure um, Hulu login and then turn enable login on and enter your username and password. You can also enable Hulu Plus if you subscribe to it. Um, and now you can hit the home button in the upper left. Go to videos, video add-ons, and you have all your add-ons including Hulu here. And in here you can access your queue and watch any of your shows. So let me know if you have any questions below. Thanks.